Today we want to look at the bolted connection tool inside of Autodesk Inventor 2012. So there's two different ways to utilize the bolted connection tool. First way we're going to access it is using the bolted connection icon here on the design tab on the ribbon menu. So select it, brings up the bolted connection generator dialog box. And there's four different types of placement. I can place it linear, pick a face, select the two edges to reference it concentrically. I want it on this face in the middle of this. If I've got a work point, I can use the on point option. And if I've got existing holes, I can use the by hole command. So in this instance, I am going to use the by hole. So looking for a start plane. And anywhere we see red arrows means we've got to supply some information. And also if I'm looking for the start plane here, right down here in the lower left, it tells me select the plane where the connection starts. So what is the top face of the connection? Well, I'm going to start right here on this one. And then for the existing hole, I'm going to select my existing hole here. And then for a termination plane right here, I'm going to pick the other side of my flange connection, this face right here. So now I can come over here and say, okay, I want to use this type of thread. It's uh, this specific diameter if I want to use it. All right, now come right over here to where I see click to add a fastener. Select this icon and this going to load from the content library. It's going to bring in all of the bolts that I can choose from. So the bolt headings uh, appear here. So I can come down and decide what type of bolt I want. Now I can go through all of these or I've even got a filter here. So you know what, I want to use an ANSI standard and I want to use just a metric bolt. So just select a metric bolt there. And if I want to drop in another fastener, such as a flat washer, come over here, click to add a fastener, select the washer that I want to use. So here's my existing hole. So anything on this side that I select is going to be on the opposite side away from the bolt head. So if I come to this click to add a fastener selection, left click on it, it's going to bring up a washer category where I can come down and select what type of washer I want to use. Maybe I want a round washer on this side as well. So I can go to round washer there. And if I click on the click to add a fastener area again, it's going to default to the category for my nut that I want to put on my connection. Maybe I'm not through. Maybe I want a lock washer. So I'm just going to hit the little pull down here, change this back to washer, and then pick the type of lock washer I want to use. So now if I come back to the click to add a fastener selection, I can pick the nut that I want to use. So now I'm getting a preview here of my selection, my bolt, my washer, my washer, my washer, and then the nut here that makes up my connection. All right, so I've also got this option right here to follow the pattern. So I can select this and it'll go ahead and add this in everywhere that this hole, because where everything is referenced off of this hole. So this will add a bolt everywhere that this hole is referenced. So I select OK. I can give it a name or accept the default here. And then very quickly, it supplies my bolts in there for me. So there's my connection. Get all of the bolts going around here. I didn't have to count how many that was. I just used the software's pattern that was existing. So another way to access that tool is from the content center itself. So if I come back to my assemble tab and under the place pull down here and go place from content center, I can select the type of bolt that I want to use. I can use the same one. I can use a different one. So if I select the bolt here that I want to use, the standard, just a hex bolt metric. And then I come over here and notice as I hover around, pick right here, I get a preview of what the bolt's going to look like. Well, this one is sizing it for me, an M10 by 1.5 by 16 so far. And then I can go ahead and use the bolted connection tool from here. Brings me right back to the same dialog box. But it's already selected the start plane and also the reference for me that I'm using right here. So I've got this follow pattern. Same as before so that I can use to go ahead and populate this in. And then very quickly come back to my termination and say, you know what, this one goes on this side over here. So I can use this termination here. 
click to add a fastener. Tell it that I want to use a plain washer on this side. And come over here again to click to add a fastener. So you know what? Let's put a, uh, another plain washer here. Just like before, we'll build this the same way. We'll change our category to a washer. And use our lock nut there. Our lock washer, I should say. And then change our category to our nut. And pick our nut here. There's my preview of what they're going to look like. All of this is in black, letting me know that this is a satisfactory connection. If anything was amiss that I did not like, it would be shown in red and would have some little work to do before it would allow us to build this. So select OK. Again, I can change the name if I would like or accept the default. Select OK. And here's my connection on this side. All right. So that gets our connections in. But what if we wanted to make an edit? What if we needed to change something? Well, we can come over here. There's my component. Okay. So I can right click on this and I can go edit using Design Accelerator. And then I can come back here and say, you know what? We talked about this. We had an uh, engineering meeting and we decided we did not need this plane washer here. All right. So I can click on it here. I can hit delete. It is removed. Select OK. And everything is updated downstream. And there's our bolted connection tool.